Folks, uh, you can't see this at home, but they're ripping the seats out here. <laughs> Very ugly display. And of course, we've got the Max Weinberg 7. Max. <laughs> I am good. Yeah, you're excited tonight? Yes. I know you're a huge KISS fan going way, way back. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is uh, apropos because tonight, in honor of uh, KISS being here, That's I understand right. that uh, you, you have a little assignment. You have a little project you want to share That's with everybody. That's right. We, we've been preparing for KISS's arrival for months now. For the arrival uh, of the KISS Army. Yes. 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 And uh, last weekend here in New York, and it's, it's touring around the country, there's our a series of KISS conventions. Yes, I've heard um, about them. Which memorabilia, just all sorts of kissabilia, I guess it would be. <laughs> yes, that's you know. appropriate, kissabilia. Yeah. And, and I took a, uh, a uh, camera crew with me and taped a segment at, okay. at this and one so last you, week. You went to the one here, it's here in New York, here is that right? Here in New right? York, last weekend. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and I think there's nothing more to be said, no. except uh, let's take a look at Andy Richter's visit to the big KISS convention. Enjoy. July 30th, 1995, Roseland Ballroom, NYC. KISS convention. Let's go. I see that you're wearing the uh, makeup of the star child. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what 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 made you want to identify with the star child? Oh, you know, he's just uh, everything. The ultimate lover, the ultimate, you know, male. Uh -huh. And everybody wants to be that, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, what, tell me when's the first time that you... Uh, oh, you have, a, you have a tattoo of him. Yeah. Yep, that's my man. <laughs> So you're, you know, you've really committed. You're going to be laying on your deathbed with the star child on your arm. It's about, yeah. So no, the members of KISS have been frozen and suspended in time and trapped in this energy field box. Well, I came with a buddy that really loves KISS. Uh-huh. And do you love KISS? Uh, I like KISS. I like all kinds of music. So are you going to buy anything here today? Yeah, alcohol. <laughs> Guido. Well? Bobby Getchell. Ronnie. Okay, I'm just going to call you Demon, Catman, Star Child, and Space Ace, if you don't mind. Now, I, I notice you've got the, the tongue, uh, the, the Gene Simmons demon tongue. Now, did... Here we go. Let's get a mic on that. <laughs> no, no, please, don't touch it. that hit it big in the 70s. Uh, Kiss had some tough times in the 1980s. Um, <laughs> that, that's a shame. That's just a shame. It's 1985, and this is either uh, Gene Simmons or B. Arthur. 
this is mainly a kiss convention, but apparently there's also a little section here for Doug Henning fans. Oh no, it's Paul Stanley, 85. I'm here talking with Robert. Robert and Anthony. Sorry. Anthony. And you are Cindy. And Cindy. And um. Did you dress up like this for the KISS convention, or were you just happened to be walking by? <laughs> no, for the convention. For the convention? Yeah. Now, how long have you been a KISS fan? Oh, forever now. Uh, and how long have you been a KISS fan? What keeps you coming back to hearing KISS? Because they, listen, KISS. they keep putting stuff out. There's always something, you know, these bands, they come and go. KISS has been, you know, from 73 to 95. They're always coming out with stuff. They're always being, uh, you know, they're, they're very... Uh, I don't know what this, I don't know what the actual words are, but they're really cut. That whole scene is gonna no good. You understand what I'm saying? They keep coming so like the stone, so like the dead. I mean, which they suck, but they're a continuation for the last 15, 17, 18 years. You know, of of ongoing. Uh, why stop being a fan? dress up around the house anymore you know okay. in the old in the old outfits we uh we try often to dress up as much as we can and uh, especially when nobody's watching and we have video cameras in, in various corners of our houses so that once we're dressed up in these elaborate outfits we could actually then watch it back on our television sets and uh, really get off on it <laughs> my life you just explained my life on a nightly basis. With us, it's more than so. Keep you with garbage and, and uh, yeah. goats. Garbage and goats. Garbage and goats. That's like sound to it. Garbage and goats. Like goat. 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 right? I think it's your next album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we have in store today? What we have? We have a wedding. A wedding. Just wedding. We've been doing some weddings at these conventions, which is pretty cool when you figure that somebody would rather get married in our presence and in, in other fans' presence and with, uh, you know, people who are blood relatives. Mm -hmm. I do! And then we play Unplugged. Really? And uh, it's very cool. Uh, remember the end of the convention. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> that all just was on the tape. You're completely possessed. Yeah. All right. Excellent work, <laughs> Thank Andy. You. Ladies and gentlemen, this KISS theme show will keep going on. It will not stop. We'll be right back with Mary Lou Hanner. We'll see you in a second. And KISS! Later on.